welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation today we are going to learn about the introduction about push down automata i am your instructor punam patel let's start to understand this topic in today's lecture we are going to discuss about this topic by using the introductions definitions and its component now first start with the introduction what is the push down automata so a push down automata is a way to implement the context free grammar which is a very similar to design a dfa which accept the regular grammar so we can say that regular grammar is accepted by the finite automata whereas push down automata is a machine which is used to accept the context free grammar context free grammar is not accepted by the regular grammar or we can say that the finite automata sorry now a dfa now what are the difference between a dfa and push down automata so in a dfa can remember a finite amount of information whereas a pda can remember infinite amount of information now in the next we can say that a pda is defined by the fa plus stack in f in finite automata the uh, in finite automata there is a limited amount of memory we can say that but in a pda where as a stack is used as a separate memory element okay so it is more powerful than the simple uh, more powerful than the finite automata because in pda it is fa plus stack okay so th that is why pda is a more powerful than the finite automata and we can say that it is remember the infinite amount of information and whereas the regular grammar uh, regular uh, language is remember uh, sorry whereas a uh, finite automata can remember a finite amount of information now what are the components in push down automata include so there are three main component we can say that pda include the first component input tab input tab is divided in the number of cell where each cell is contain uh, is hold uh, one uh, uh, one input symbol next is a control unit we can say that control unit by using the transition it move from one state to another state and the last is we can say that a stack in finite automata there is two only component input tab which contain the input and next is control unit but in a pda the third component include which makes the pda more power, more powerful which is the stack and the stack is a infinite size that's why it is called it remember the infinite amount of information now you can see in this figure the first the input tab which is divided in a number of cell reads the input control unit according to the input it read the input one by one from left to right take the actions and while taking the action it also consider the stacks and according to that step we have to say that whether the given uh, at the end of a string after tracing the uh, trace after tracing the string we can say that whether the given string is accept or reject now if the stack memory is involved so obvious we can perform the operation on a stack so the stack head is always can the topmost symbol of this uh, topmost symbol of the stack and on stack we perform two operations the first one push operation it means that we have to insert the symbol onto the stack and the next is pop operation where we uh, we remove the topmost symbol from the stack in this stack we also include one an operation which is called as skip operation in skip operation we do not uh, perform any operation on the stack it means that whatever the topmost symbol in the stack we can uh, keep as it is okay now next is how pda can define so pda actually defined by the seven tuples q sigma tau delta q0 z0 f okay where q as we know is a finite uh, set of state sigma sigma is a set of in, input alphabet next is a uh, tau is not in finite automata but in pda tau is used so tau tuples is uh, actually define a stack symbol because here we are using the stack memory so the symbol which we are inserting or removing from the stack so this symbol is include the set in a tau 
so it is called the finite set of stack symbols next is a q0 which which includes the initial set initial state set of initial state and the state is always belongs to a capital q next is z0 now always remember z0 it define the initial stack symbol initial topmost stack symbol we can initialization of stack so always remember bottom of this stack is always contain a z0 so if when if stack is empty it always contain the symbol is z0 and this z0 is included in a tau because it is a stack symbol now next is a f f is a set of final state which always the subset of q now delta transition function now how we can define the transition function for the pda if we are going to use the stack so here you can see this is the transition function where we can define if you see the left hand side of arrow symbol there are three things we have to consider the first is current state the next is input and the third is tau symbol topmost symbol of the stack what is the topmost symbol of the stack that we have to consider every time for taking the for taking the transition so three things first is uh, state the second is input and the third one is topmost symbol of stack by taking consideration this we can move from the state q and tau star tau star meaning that either we perform the push operation if we are going to perform a push operation we need to define the top two most symbol of the stack or we can perform the pop operation so pop operation generally defined by the null that we can understand when we are uh, considering the example but right now we can uh, we can say that tau star means that we have to either operate either performing push operation or pop operation we have to define define that symbols okay so this is called the definition formal definition of pda so we can say that pda is defined by the seven tuples where two extra tuples used in a pda which is used for the stack the tau and the next is z0 z0 which define the bottom of stack and we can say that it is a initial stack symbol now how we can say that this language is accepted by pda or not so there are two way we can say that a language accepted by a pda by using two approaches the first approach can say that the language accepted by the final state which is a same as in a finite automata if you remember in a finite automata if we are tracing the string and at the end of the string if we reach at a final state which is a defined by the double circle if we reach at the final state it means that this particular string is accepted by a uh, finite automata same way we if we used a final state for defining for defining whether the string is de uh, whether this string is accepted by or not so we can say that this language is accepted by a final state now in a pda there is another second approach and this approach is acceptance by empty stack where we are not using any final state we are using the uh, non final state as it is there is no any final state where there is no any double circle we have to define in a pda in this approach now how we are uh, know that this uh, language is accepted by so when if the stack is empty because here they said that at the end of tracing the string if we check to a stack we have to check the stack if my stack is empty it means that language is accepted by the uh, language is accepted so we can say that this approach is language accepted by the empty stack where we do not need to use the final state so in a next video we are uh, in a next videos we are using the first term which is a most general term where we used to accept in this language by the final state okay so i hope this concept is clear to you thank you all